Welcome on in. It's time for another edition of Friday Night Lights. I'm Mike Fenner. It's week seven of local high school football here in District 10. I'm Cameron Up, and I've got two words for you, Mike. Prep and McDowell. Enough said. Let's get into the action downtown. Let's do it. It's the Trojans and the Ramblers at Veterans Memorial Stadium for years worth of bragging rights. First quarter, McDowell up 3-0 and Baby Porter is into the end zone for the first touchdown of the game to extend the lead to 10. They continue to set the tone later in the first. Blaze Meyer to Daymar Dickerson on the slant for the 10-yard touchdown connection. It's 17 to nothing McDowell. Still not done. They go back to Porter. This time on the shuffle pass, he makes a man miss, hits the hole, and he'll win the foot race. 33 yards to Pater to make it 23 to nothing. Prep trying to get something going in the second. Davin Friedman escapes the pocket to his right. He hits Griffin Potts in the back of the end zone for the Ramblers' first points of the night. 27 to 7 Trojans. Before the half, though, Myers is going to go deep for James Ziegler Jr. He's going to win the jump ball. He comes down with it. That would lead to a McDowell field goal. They take a 30-7 lead into the half. Prep showing some fight in the second. Charbel Latouf goes up the middle for the seven-yard touchdown. That's going to make it 30-13. But Baby Porter would continue in the fourth. They give it to him right up the gut. He scores another one with ease to extend the lead. Porter with four. Count them. Four touchdowns on the night, and McDowell tops Cathedral Prep 44 to 21. They executed the heck out of it, uh, all three phases of the game. I uh, was really pleased with how they came out of the gate, and you know, it's something that we talk about it's trying to sustain throughout four quarters, and, and we didn't do that in the second half, but they really came out of the first half and they really played well. Uh, we had a great start, you know, it, like this is a big game of all momentum, and uh, just getting that momentum from the jump really uh, elevated us to get a win tonight. We just came out with energy and played as a team, and at practice, we took this game like serious. We just we swarmed to the ball, our defense line did their job getting off the ball which allowed us linebackers to get there and pursue. On the Plyweed Entry System scoreboard, McDowell tops Cathedral Prep 44-21 at Vet Stadium. Both teams are now 5-2 overall. Wow, great one there in a rivalry action. How about battle for first place in Region 5? Fort LaBeouf home for Fairview at Carbonito Field. Congrats to Bree Powers, the homecoming queen, and to the entire court there enjoying the celebration tonight. Late first half, Tigers leading 10-0 and looking for more. Carlos Amino picked off in the end zone. Hunter Villa with the INT to keep it. A two-possession game going into the half. In the third, Bison on the move, but the Tigers come up with a monster takeaway. Brady King with the pick. On the return, he does fumble, but the Tigers get back on it and they take over possession. In the fourth, time winding down on LaBeouf. Still a two-possession game. Xavier Blos throws the fade. This one's intercepted. Joe O'Reilly comes up with the huge play and the Tigers' defense came to play. They blank the Bison tonight at Carbonito Field. Fairview wins it 10 to nothing to take over first place in Region 5. We got a little adversity at halftime. Our quarterback couldn't come back out and go. And, and uh, you know, we, we had a long talk in the, in the locker room at halftime about our defense just not letting them score. And I tell you what, they played sound, sound assignment football. I'm so proud of them. We practice, and Carlos Amino, he's, he's a tough kid. I mean, he got a little banged up. He'll be fine. But um, I had to step in, but I'll just do what I do and just play football. Northeast with a ceremonial ribbon cutting with their new field at Ted Miller Stadium. Great pickers hosting Corey tonight for Northeast. Bryson Galloway takes off on the quarterback draw. He's going to finally be pushed out of bounds, but it's good enough for a Northeast first down. For Corey, quarterback Nolan Carey takes the snap. He's going to find Mason Savitz over the middle for a pickup of a first down. Later, Carey finds Will Allen on the comeback. He's going to make a man whisk, and he's off to the races. They won't catch him. It's the first score of the game to make it 7-0 Corey at the end of the first. On the next drive, Carey is going to go deep once again. This time he's looking for Blake Cook who burns his defender. He's going to make the catch for another Corey touchdown to make it 14-0. Corey blanks northeast tonight, 48-0. Let's stay in East County homecoming at Harbor Creek as well against the Gerard Yellow Jackets. And early action here, Harbor Creek with it. Heath Betza throwing deep to Cameron Herman, and he's got it. Near sideline for the touchdown, made it 17 to six. This is the end of the first half, actually. So now we move ahead, and more for the guys in orange and black at home. Tyshawn Jones takes the pitch, and he's running here for a large gain in yardage. Harbor Creek with the first down, some tough running, and then more for the home team, more for Jones, running the ball once again. 
It's time for a Harbor Creek touchdown as he gets to the outside. Made it 24 to 6 at the end of the third quarter. Harbor Creek goes on to get the home win 31 12 over the Yellow Jackets. Let's go to Linden Field at General McLean. Lancers home for the Warren Dragons. And here early in the first, General McLean back to pass. Senior quarterback Isaac Zeitz finds Kyle McConnell for a Lancer first down. More from GM. It's a handoff coming up to Cohen Beachley. Find some room on the game here, left sideline, and towards the Warren defense there and circles back for a first down. About two minutes left in the first. McLean getting on the board. Zeitz finding Teague Berger on the score as he gets loose, middle of the field. Touchdown, McLean. And then finally, about six minutes to go in the first half. More from GM, more from Zeitz, and Berger on the connection. Another pass into the flat leads to six. McLean gets the win at home. 48 6 over Warren. Still to come on Friday Night Lights, we're not quite finished yet. Much more high school football to get to. That and much more. Stay with us here on Friday Night Lights.